Well, hello, welcome to the vlog. Today we're looking at a very uh, affordable wine tool that if you if you enjoy wine at all, you must have. It's like the greatest. Ding ding! I don't know why I did that. It seemed like it was time for a sound effect. <laughs> that was good. Sound effects are Sound effects are great. It's not a bunch of sound effects. I'm talking to myself because I'm going to edit this. So uh, I enjoy wine quite a lot. <laughs> and I have found that you don't really need a lot to enjoy a glass of wine. It's not a lot of like gear or tools or accessories that you need, which is kind of a bummer because I love tools and accessories and gear. Like video, there's always some new piece of gear to look at or want to buy. With backpacking or hiking, there's always new boots or packs or tools or ways of spending money. Wine, uh, you buy a bottle of wine and you open it and that's pretty much all you need. <laughs> Luckily, there are a few things that you can spend your money on. This, however, you don't have to spend much money and it is a real necessity in my life for wine. And this is it. So uh, I kind of debated doing this whole video because I thought, well, this is kind of a letdown. My fear was that I would do this video and it'd be like, ta-da, and people would be like, what the heck? Yeah, of course, everybody knows about that. I thought you had something great, something big, something that I need. Moron, there's so many better ones. So many better ones. Why do you need that one? Well, I will tell you why. For one thing, it's uh, extremely simple to use. You can take it anywhere. You can throw it in your pocket. It doesn't need charging. It simply serves its purpose well very well. It opens bottles of wine and looks good doing it. Has a little cutter for the little wrapping around the top of the bottle. Now for sure there's a ton of other openers out there that do things that might be better than this, cooler than this. I know my sister-in-law has this really awesome massive old school wine opener that you pull the thing down on and it's like it's the coolest thing ever but you can't really travel with it. And I have other friends that have like the winemakers where like the needle sticks into the stem and it like keeps the wine for 18 years even after the bottle's kind of open. But it's kind of big and bulky and a little bit of a hassle to use. I love the simplicity of this. I love that it does its job well over and over and never needs any attention from me. It just works. <laughs> I am of the personality type that is, it's difficult for me to be satisfied. I'm always looking for the next idea, the new adventure, the something else that's exciting to look forward to. I think that's why I like hobbies that necessitate the need for new gear, a new camera every once in a while, a better microphone. It's fun to like shop online and look at all the new stuff and think like maybe I should get this one and then never really make up my mind because the fun, the, the satisfaction I get is just in the looking, the desiring new things. I think that sometimes I miss out on the things that I already have in my life that really aren't gonna get any better. Arguably, this is the best wine tool you could possibly buy. Side note, if you'd like to buy it, I'll put a link to it where you can buy it on Amazon. It's like $10, $11. So to me, when I see videos about like the wine tool you have to have, I'm like, oh, good. Something else I can get excited about. But then my thought with this video was like, I'll show you this. And if I was watching the video, I'd be like, I'm so disappointed. Well, of course, a wine opener? What do you mean? I thought there was something better, something bigger. I think living with the realization that life in general that I'm living right now, it'd be tough to improve on. I know that sounds probably arrogant or I don't know what, because I know a lot of people are in times of their life that are horrendous and everything could be better in their life. For sure, there's things in my life I'd like to be better, I'd like to change, but really, I think that if I look at my life from the proper vantage point, my life is this wine tool. There's things I could dream about that I'd like to have, but in the end, it really can't get any better. I think 
you know what I'm talking about. Did that make sense at all? I just wonder, how do you handle those times in life when somebody shows you like, this is the best tool for wine and you're like, ho hum, no, things get better than that. How do you remind yourself that maybe this is the best $10 wine tool in the entire world? Anyways, that's the show today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs up the video and comment in it that tells YouTube that you liked it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Okay.